A standard size for a concert bass drum is 36 inches in diameter by 16 inches in width. The types of materials for heads are fiber skin, which is a man-made textured plastic, or calf skin, which is a natural animal hide. Smooth heads create a very brittle tone, therefore should be avoided in a concert setting. When tuning the bass drum, the playing head should be a fourth or fifth above, below, or at the same pitch as the resonating head. I like to start with the playing head and get it to a response that feels good to me. Make sure it's not too loose or floppy so that it is articulate and resonant. Then I take the resonating head and put it at the same pitch as the playing head for a starting point. Remember, the resonating head determines how articulate the sound will be. Again, it can be anywhere from a perfect fifth above or below the playing head. You have to determine what sound you want. Let's take a look at a general mallet selection and some effects mallets. The first one to look at is a general beater. It is a medium to large headed felt mallet that produces a well-rounded resonant tone. Next is a pair of rolling beaters. As you can see, these are smaller than the general beaters and are easier to control. The last beater to fill out our general selection is a set of staccato beaters. Staccato beaters are similar to rollers but have less felt and a harder core. These are used for articulating rhythmic figures. Some other effects mallets that we use are wooden beaters that we use for extremely articulate playing, especially in a soft dynamic range. Another is a hard felt beater that we use for extremely articulate playing in loud dynamic ranges. General playing areas for the bass drum are the same as any membranophone. The center of the drum is used for loud strokes and extremely articulate passages. Off center or a third of the distance from the rim is used for all general playing and loud rolls. The edge is for soft rolls and special effects that require a thin sound and higher overtones. The forearm and wrist produce the general playing stroke. Soft strokes are produced mostly by the wrist. Adding the upper arm to the general stroke produces loud strokes. The direct stroke goes directly into the head with a flicking of the wrist to terminate the stroke. This produces maximum vibrations and overtones from the drum. For rolls, we use two matched beaters. If your bass drum is suspended and can lay flat, you can use match grip to execute a single stroke roll. If your bass drum does not lay flat, then hold the beaters with traditional grip and still use single strokes to execute the roll. To dampen is to stop the vibrations of the head by exerting pressure with the left hand or right knee. The most significant problem to address is not how to dampen, but when to dampen. Most composers and arrangers are not always familiar with proper techniques and notation of the bass drum. The note values are not always consistent with the band or orchestra. Therefore, a player must listen and reinterpret the written part. Another option is to check the full score for the proper note values as shown on your screen. How and when do we muffle the bass drum? To muffle it is to partially mute the head to lessen the vibrations. We muffle when the type of notation is fast.
We also muffle if the character of the music is short or if there is a smaller instrumentation or if the acoustics of the hall are very live. All of these situations require muffling.